Hey, Bryce here. Hopefully you're having a great morning. I just decided to come live. Um, I'm sitting outside of the parking lot of the gym about to go work out in for about an hour. But this morning I was kind of scrolling through some of the Facebook groups for like artists and, you know, creatives. And I, I just saw a lot of people being very, very kind of discouraged. Either they had, you know, either given up on making money as an artist or they were getting discouraged because their posts weren't getting the recognition that they deserved. And I just want to come through with you guys to really be like, you know, kind of help you guys focus on what is the most important thing. So number one is always going to be about providing for your family, for yourself, for your life. Number two is about making sure that you're living a life of passion, freedom, and joy. Then number three can be about, you know, the attention, the accolades, and, you know, really getting famous, for lack of better words. What happens is a lot of people um, go after fame first. They're trying to make their posts, and their posts are, you know, maybe get one like, maybe get two likes, maybe get a thousand likes. And they're really chasing that, and they get very, very discouraged when they find out that those likes do not really lead to people really purchasing their higher ticket, you know, um, pieces. It, it can work if you're doing like a $5, $10, $15 print, but if you're trying to really go and sell, you know, your, your, your pieces for a lot more and really find that true collector that, you know, loves your piece as much as you do because, you know, you are the creator, then you really need to start focusing on connections with the collectors, not just getting a bunch of likes on social media. Now, the next thing that people, most people think of when, when they're trying to start their art career is they're like trying to do everything to be like super either fulfilled or they're trying to be like joy and they're trying to be in passion, which what that leads to is if you're not financially set up or financially stable, the stuff that, you know, ob oftentimes makes us the most joy and the most happy are not necessarily the things that move the needle forward and make our art sell. And what ca what that causes is that most people stay in that struggle spot for a lot longer than they have to. Generally, what you should be focusing on is how can I go and produce pieces that can sell for between $3,000 to $5,000 first? How can I go collect with the right collectors? Then once you know how you can start making money, then you have a lot more time to be able to do whatever you want and have more freedom in that stuff. But if you focus on freedom too early, it's gonna just be kind of like a, a hobby. And most people who have that hobby kind of get frustrated and then they never really make it as far as they could. And on the one hand, people might say, well, you know, I, I don't want it to be about the money. I'm like, well, at the same time, if you don't make money with your art, generally you have to go get a job someplace else. So you have even less time to your art than if you just, you know, focus on the things that made you the money in the short term. Focus on the things that helped you get those audiences, those networks with those proper collectors. Then you can be like me and have a lot of time to do your art. Like, that's, that's basically all I do. All I do is um, write blog posts, um, you know, shoot these videos for you guys, run my group, talk to my virtual assistant, build my art, and then I get to talk to collectors, whether it's on the phone, text message, email, or going and seeing them in person. So... Even though, yeah, at first it wasn't like the most joyous process, um, I have a pretty good life now. And that's also why I like come and share with you guys because I know there's just a lot of people that are struggling to go and build their art journey. But I'm just always here to tell you, like, you can. You just have to focus on the right things. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit the share button so other people, like, share it with an artist that you actually love and care about, okay? If, like, us artists need to kind of stick together and see visions of success. It's very easy for most artists to get very discouraged. So share this video with someone who you care about, who you want to see succeed um, in their art career. And I will talk to you soon. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Hey Cassidy, hopefully you're doing great. I just saw you pop on. Hopefully you're doing great. Send me a message. I want to see how your um, holiday went. I'll talk to you guys soon.